Welcome to One Knife, One Pan, One Dish. A series of simple to follow recipes with me, Phil, the demo chef. Today, pork on a bed of leeks with black pudding. As you can see on the bench, we've got a beautiful knife from Flint and Flames, Rhineland range. This, the humble onion. This, celery. This, a carrot. They form the base of a mirepoix. The mirepoix is the base of all good sauces. They add instant flavour. It's like having a little tiny stock cube and just banging it through. So on to the next stage of preparation, dicing. To do this quite fine, so I want it to cook quickly. So we produce a julienne first, we turn it round like this, square it all up, and away we go. This does not have to be precise, you do not have to be Michel Roux Junior or Senior to produce a mirepoix. You do simply have to be able to use a knife, cutting down through the onion like this, and all we're doing is producing a reasonably fine dice like this. How easy is that? Okay, finally the celery, all we're going to do is run the knife down like this and create strips like a julienne. Okay, and again, nice and easy. This we're going to use to form the basis of our sauce, which is going to be buttered sauce. So we've got about a quarter carrot, a quarter celery to about half onion is the ratio. That is your finished mirepoix. Next thing we're going to produce is leek yeti, leek spaghetti. All we're doing is we're using this to bed our lovely piece of pork and we're going to use this to go a nice colour contrast with our black pudding. So you'll notice everything that I've produced now is in one bowl. This is called mise en place or prep. As chefs what we do is we prep everything first, you prep hard as we say, you cook easy. Right this is the Bylight stove. This is an amazing piece of kit. There's a fan in here that feeds the flames. Best thing to do is go to the Bylight website, have a look, and seriously, absolutely stunning piece of kit. So all I'm doing is adding wood just to fuel this fire up and get it going. There we go. Right, here we've got our pan from the lovely Netherton Foundry in Shropshire. And what a pan it is. It's British, it's spun iron, and it's superb. It's a black iron pan creates its own non-stick surface. A bit of butter in there, you can see that's only been on there a couple of seconds. And because we're sautéing we're going to add oil and butter together. The first thing I'm going to drop in is a little bit of the mirepoix we made earlier. Okay, we're going to cook that off, but we're going to cook that off with the leeks. So here we go, here's some of the leeks going in. And if you've not seen one of these before, you need to get one of these. This we call the bacon press. It's one of my favourite pieces of kit. It's absolutely superb. You get this really, really even cooking because the food's in better contact with the bottom of the pan. All we're doing now is we're wilting these leeks through. We're going to start in a minute. We're going to add some black pudding. So you can see here, I've got the lid off now. I'm going to find my little spatula, which... Find my little spatula now. I'm going to turn these. You can see the caramelisation on there and the cooking is absolutely superb. This is an excellent stove, I can't believe it. I've actually not cooked on this before, so I'm absolutely delighted with it. This is amazing. So, this is our black pudding and leek salad for the bottom of our dish. Really, how simple is that? You see our mirepoix in there as well. What I'm going to do, I'm going to set this on one side now. You can see here there's a little bit of foil. Let's use that to set this on one side. You can see the wind's getting up a little bit. So we're going to set that on one side. That will keep warm in there. And we're going to keep that right now. We've got the pan back on. And what I want to do now is get a bit of our pork. So we'll pop that on there. And we're going to reheat that just before we serve it because we're going to have to rest the pork as well. I'm just going to tell you about this. This is molten sea salt. Choice of chefs everywhere. Absolutely superb. I'm going to use a little bit of this just to season up a bit of pork. Got a nice thin cut of pork so it'll cook quickly on here. I didn't realise how hot this actually got. But that's actually not, it's, uh, yeah, it's heated my pan up nicely. Right, again, because we're going to saute, touch of oil into the bottom of the pan, and of course, a little bit of butter. Life's just not the same without lots of lovely butter. So another little bit of butter going in here now. Okay, straight on, in with our pork steak. 
beautiful piece of pork. And on with our bacon flat. The bacon press gives you even cooking by keeping more of the meat in contact with the bottom of the pan. Keep our leeks warm. We're going to pop them up here. Oh, just smell that. Local pork. What better? Well, I can honestly say, in all the years I've been a chef, I've never seen a stove like this before, but it's absolutely amazing. It's, fan it's a fan assistant stove that charges your iPad. I've not, I've not done that yet, but I'm sure I will at some point. If you could smell what I can smell now, you would want to be standing here. You may notice it's a little bit windy out here, it doesn't seem to have any effect on this stove. It's not blowing it out, it's cooking evenly. Right, we're going to pop these leaks out again, and I want to have a look at how we're doing. Look at the caramelisation there on that piece of pork, absolutely stunning. Back on with that, holding it down, and we leave that to cook again for a minute. Pop them back on there so they're going to stay warm. What better? And we told you, one knife, one pan. Okay, I've cheated a bit with a bacon flat, but I regard that as part of this. All of them. It's a marriage made in heaven. And to bring it to the table, the biolite. Genius. Okay, we're going to pop the leeks off again. I want to check my meat. So we always keep a good eye on it. My heavens, that's unbelievable. So I'm going to move that around a little bit because that end's not quite catching. So pop that on there. That's probably about two minutes away from being cooked, which is quite incredible. I don't think our cooker in the house cooks this quickly. I've just pushed a button here. That actually increases the airflow through using a fan. So I'll pop another bit of wood in, a couple of bits of wood. Seems a bit faffy, but actually I think this works really well. So I'm not having to fuel it that often. So I'll pop those in there, and we'll turn that down again. So it's just a little bit on the fierce side. So caramelise my pork in about 30 seconds. You see I'm keeping a close eye on this because I don't want to dry the meat out but I do want it to cook thoroughly. So I don't think we're far off to be fair. Caramelisation is amazing on that. Right, no I think we're there at that. So we've got our leeks and the black pudding. What I'm going to do is pop them like this onto the plate. Not too much faff and fuss there, is there? Then I'm going to take my knife and run that through and just show you the pork is cooked spot on. It's perfect. It's got a beautiful caramelised outer. So then we're going to pop these up like this, get some height on the plate, and that is pork with leeks and black pudding cooked outdoors on a biolite stove with a Netherton foundry pan and prepped, of course, with a fabulous flint and flame knife.